Welcome to the Battleground Aces. This is Seth Yeager. And today we are in the M36 B2. Looks like we're in for a six on six match on the Autumn map. So I do have a couple of treats for you. And when I say couple, I mean two. Uh, so be sure you watch this video until the very end. All right, enough about that. Let's get to the action. We're going to push to our left. Usually when I spawn at the base, I like to go to the left. Because I think if I go uh, to the right or straight down, uh, reds have better cover. So I want to try to attack this hill. I know they're going to be out in the open. And it looks like we have our first red. Now, for those of you who are ever trying to use your extended view range on your TD, none of the red can go past your green circle. If any of that red is inside that green circle, they're going to be able to spot you. Okay? You have to have it on the very, very edge. And it takes, it takes a little getting used to, and it works a lot better on tanks that are not moving. That's, that's the best way to kind of test it out. Uh, you still want to do it from a covered position. Uh, that way, uh, in case you, you mess up and you go too far, you still have some cover. All right, so uh, it looks like we have the same thing going on over here. It looks like uh, 8 is calling for help because he's surrounded by about uh, 5 reds. And we have 1 red on our side of the map surrounded by 5 blues. So let's see how this is going to play out for us. Oh, oh, I think that was a T-30. Now we have got to take out these T-30s because they just do so much damage in the game. And let's see which uh, T-30 this is. I don't know. And looks like it's going to be Ash. Okay, Ash is boosted in his T-30. And I remember from the previous game, he was coming back to the top spot, so we definitely want to out. Like flanking. One shot in. Oh, we're going to set off. We get a fast reload. Nope, no shots for him on us, so we go out. Any damage taken until that shot is right there. Still looking at a 4 on 5 run. We get a lucky shift there. And let's see where these guys are. Uh, right there by that rock. You see him? That is what I have to work with. That is something you never face. If you find yourself facing off your opponent uh, like that, you want to try to get out of this situation. Uh, because they have a lot of cover. And uh, it's hard to tell how much of your tank is exposed. But usually, you're going to have more of your tank exposed and so it's easier for them to fire you than it is for you to fire on that real small target. Alright, looks like we have another B2 over here in the building. And that B2 is kind of the same kind where he doesn't have a really good way to back out and get the risk. Let's take a closer look at the target we have to work with. Look at that. That is all you get. A lot of times when you're facing players that know what they're doing and understand how to use cover, that's all you're going to get. So for somebody like me who's not really good at peekaboo, you want to try to avoid the situation. Unfortunately, they kind of have us blocked in. There's not much you're going to be able to do, but it is a three on two map. Now, we have Z map over to our left, and myself, I believe it's a super Persian are on the right, and we are attacking from different angles, which is what you want to do. Anytime you are further away from a red, you want to use a further, uh, or I'm sorry, a wider attack angle, because if all three of us were together in one spot, it would be real easy for the red to pick us off. But since we're further apart, it takes longer to turn this to it and attack all of us. So just now we took out the B2 because we focused on shooting first and pulled out. And uh, let's see here. 
Let's try to use some sight beyond sight. Bam! There we go. Not even in on even and we have taken out. All right, so here is the first tree. One of the reasons I was posting this video is because I was checking YouTube the other day, and guess what? ZMac has his video up. So if you want to see ZMac in action with his 3,363 damage, go check out his video in the description below. Here is the second treat we have for you. This is uh, an attempt that I'm making to return the flag. Don't ask me what the circumstances were. I don't want to get into it. But it looks like me and the comet are going to push forward. Onward. Onward, my good man. Oh, we got a super heavy. Try to get behind him. Oh, our teammate gets taken out. But it looks like we see our blue flag. Let's see if we can finish him off and score some big time money. We do. We do. You got to grab the flag and we have to run. Oh, we're getting attacked from the rear. I don't know if that's a T-28 or not, but we need to move quickly. Get behind that cover. Mm. Got hit again. Two on three match. We're making a run for it. We're trying to see who is coming toward us. We're almost at the corner. And I think we're going to make it. Oh, we don't. Oh, we get a rear shot and get taken down. So now, red. Approaching from the rear. Makes it to our location. Are they going to try to take those flags from us? I would. Using my tank for cover, he recovers both flags. He backs up. It looks like we have our teammate coming from behind. Oh! And the super pudding gets taken out. So now... Our teammate in the B2 with 197 points. Looks like he is going to take this one in for the touchdown after the recovery from Red, who recovered it from me. <sighs> applause, applause. Woohoo! Oh, awesome. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, extra video gameplay there. These are a look at my current stats. And to discuss this video or anything Armored Aces related, please join us at armoredaces.formotion.com. Until next time, Sith Jaeger out.